Well, continuing on with our 2015 PDRA TV Winter Shop Series Tour, if you will, we've made our way to southwest Michigan to the small town of Niles, where we have caught up with Artie McElwee the third, my friend. Good to see you here at Tefco Systems. Great to see you. Thank you so much for coming. And, uh, you know, the funny thing is, I know you guys started out on the East Coast, but it's still snowing. It's snowing everywhere, <laughs> everywhere we've gone. It's snowed, but... Uh, Tell us a little bit about the, the, this company and uh, your family involvement and, and the length of time you've been involved with it and such. Well, I joined in 05. My uh, family, my mom and dad, Art and Pat, uh, took the company over in 1994. Uh, the company is 60 years old this past December, and uh, I had the opportunity to join them in 05, and I haven't looked back. Um, we're just surrounded by wonderful people, and we, uh, we provide some really neat services. We come here for a big reason. One of the reasons is is that... This year, Tefco, as a corporation, he's been a, a, a fast dragster racer for many, many years. More tuner than driver because that's just that's what he likes to do. And he's got a great driver and his brother, Mark. But you guys have helped us here at the PDRA and put together a real cool five race series. Tell me about that. Oh, yeah. The, it's the Pro Open Outlaws. It's uh, uh, kind of a run what you brung. It's, it takes us back to the IHRA days and the Super, super Eliminator uh, we're going to, most of us are going to run blown alcohol dragsters and alters, uh, and heads up and, uh, just hope you've brought enough heads up first to the finish line and run what you brung. Absolutely. And for us tuners and engine builders, uh, we try to give it just that much and, and then uh, save some for the rest of the day. I know that there was a time when, when you and I talked uh, off camera a number of times and on the phone, cause we've been friends a lot of years. And you said, what in the world could we do to make something like this happen? And uh, you got with the powers that be, uh, Bob Harris and the rest, and we're able to put this program together. Very cool. Yeah, and you know what we love about it as a family and a company is owned by racers, run by racers. And we're just a bunch of racers. Uh, we, we call it tailgating uh, yeah. with a race car. And uh, we're, we're just a great family with a bunch of friends, and everybody gets together and just has a great time. But I put uh, a bug in Bob's ear at Martin last year. And um, as, you know, talking to you and, and several others, Larry Snyder has been instrumental, uh, just numerous people. We wanted a place to – we love bracket racing. It's where we came from. But let's face it, going fast is a ball. <laughs> your brother, uh, Brian Pfeiffer, a whole bunch of the other guys that are part of your team – for the most part, are very limited, or have been up to this point, with uh, a couple bigger events in Florida, one in the spring, one in the uh, fall, and a couple races pretty much at Martin. But this is going to broaden things out for you a bit. Yeah, this is going to be fabulous. You know, we uh, we uh, came out last year with a new car. We won at Martin at the Quick Four, thanks to Phil Ez and Ultrasonic. Um, and uh, this year it's going to give us an opportunity to market our products to our customers and, and invite them in, not only to introduce them to drag racing and the PDRA family, but just come on in and, and hospitality and have a ball. Yeah. Very cool. Tailgating at the drag races, right? Absolutely. With a race car. Hey, let's, uh, let's take a, uh, a tour of this shop. Now, let me tell you something. This is what's cool about coming here, and one of the neat things about our winter series, if you will, is that everywhere we go doesn't necessarily have to be a racing shop. And this is one of them. The things you're going to see today, you're just going to flip over. This is a coating company. So we made our way back to the job shop or the specials area, if you will. Now, Barry, tell me a little bit about what Barry's doing right here. It looks like he's doing something that I'm pretty familiar with, masking a little bit. Yeah, he's doing some real specialty masking of some threaded areas. These are specialty pump parts uh, for air compressor pumps uh, for a company that makes pumps for the air compressor industry for hospitals and clean rooms and what have you. Um, he's halfway through the process. He's demasking uh, after a dry process, and he's going to put it all back in and bulk bake the Teflon. And so the reason the bolts are in there pretty much simply is to make sure to keep all the threads clean. Yeah, that's correct. The coating here is, uh, Barry, what's the coating? A couple thousandths? 1058. Uh, so it's it's probably anywhere from eight tenths to one point two thousand specifically on the flat surface. So physically, he'll go through this particular area here, and you're talking about a moment ago, like he's baking cookies here. Yep. But he's got to take out some. I'm going to guess uh, da, 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 forty-eight bolts, a little bit of unmasking. Throw that one in, pull another one out, same thing repetitively until all those are done, and then you put that thing through a heat cycle. What kind of heat you put on those things? Uh, I believe these cure out at about 700, 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that is unbelievable. All right, so let's take a quick look over here then once again at Bill, what Bill's got going on 
pretty pretty much similar in nature, only a different part. Tell me about that part. Very similar. It's an automotive component that goes to a transmission. Um, again, you can see he has to do very specialty masking, uh, and he's halfway through the process to where he's been doing a um, uh, the primer surface. So now he's going to go back for top coat and making sure there's no dust on, etc. And then, so he's going to finalize the top coat, and then it'll all go in the oven together and bulk uh, bulk bake. So to clarify to those folks out there that are watching this thing, everything you're doing here is not all about powder coat. Absolutely not. That's the funny thing. Everybody thinks Power Shield Coatings is a big powder coating company. Uh, you like a painter with yeah. cars. People have no idea all the different things you paint right. over the years. Yeah, sure. But Tefco Engineered Coating Systems is the mother company. Power Shield is just one division of ten. Uh, and we provide services for everybody. And it's like a painting process, but with ceramics plastics, uh, thermoplastics, and et cetera. And, uh, I mean, I, I can't tell you all the different parts that we do every day. It's amazing. We, we, we uh, very well may run into a set of headers, but for the most part, we're going to run into some stuff that people aren't going to believe to hear today. Right. It's just like you guys found out this morning having that beautiful waffle at the hotel. <laughs> You're going to see thousands and thousands of waffle irons that we spray robotically. When we're talking about waffle irons, keep in mind, as I said earlier, this is not just a powder coating company, and uh, i, I got to say this. Your nickname is Buzz, and I'm not going to ask why, but Artie, tell me what's happening here. It looks like these things have gone through a blasting process. Right. Um, we do new and what's called refurbished for this company. Uh, the refurbished come in, and they get the product gets burned off at a very high temperature. Then they either get sandblasted or shot peened, cleaned, and then they go through another cleaner prior to the, uh, the Teflon being applied. But in this process here, they've come out of the sandblast room, and then they're going to have one more cleaning system, and then they go over here to the robotic uh, coder. That's really cool. If you don't mind, earlier we were looking and we're able to find some different brands and different styles. Uh, by down here, can you give me any ideas? Uh, boy, some sort of a fish. <laughs> Actually, it's a guy's head. He had it. Hey, you might be right. Oh, that's Yosemite Sam. Yeah. Ah, that's Yosemite <laughs> Sam. Yeah. So they come from everywhere. All over the country. Uh, there's the University of Texas down there. These are Holiday Inn. These go to uh, um, uh, Dairy Queen. Just. Oh, that's amazing. Many, many part numbers. Even back in here, that you just continue to go on and on and on with them. That is so cool. Great bigger square size, some much smaller. That is what, yeah. clear down to the real small ones. Wow. Hearts. This goes to a casino. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah, duh. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, they go all over the place. These are called logo plates. This company is just an amazing company, and they sell them all over the world. And so the cool part about it is not only do you do them when they start, there's a steer right there, obviously, from... From an outfit in Texas. There's University of Michigan. University of Michigan. Wow. That is so cool. Smitty's. <laughs> so anyway, same company, different stampings, if you will, or different uh, cast, you know, pretty much. But for the process-wise, it's always the same, pretty much. Yeah, absolutely. Um, some of the part numbers only get a one-coat process, but the majority of them get a two-coat, a primer and a top-coat system. That's really cool. I'll tell you, waffle irons and waffle making machines, you would never guess it. Just a small part of what happens here at Tefco. Ladies and gentlemen, might I introduce you to Waffy? And if you take a good look at what Waffy is doing, Waffy is actually putting the coating on these waffle plates, the top and the bottom along the edges there. And then it's going to set up for just a little bit. It'll make its way through the process. Here's the cool part. We've seen five, six, seven different brands, but just look at the variation of these things. I mean, from Tigers, uh, American Inn, good golly, Miss Molly, it's everything. <laughs> wow. Again, I, I know that you, a lot of folks in their mind, and we talked about this earlier, would think and have thought for a long time that Tefco just did powder coating, but that is a very, very, very small part of what this company does. These waffle iron plates 
it obviously is a very good account for you here. I don't know what numbers it would account for percentage-wise, but it's obviously something keeps you pretty busy. Absolutely. It keeps six people busy every day. Six people every day. Every day. This line then would run continuously for 12 hours or 20 or two, what? Sh two shifts. 16 hours. Yes. Very cool. Well, Waffy, as she's called, and of course Jimmy will make sure to get a shot of that, is doing her job. So we are still in the chain on edge room here, and we go from waffle plates to what appears to be a complete rotating assembly line with little caps of some sort. Fill me in. Yeah, these are called pack seals. Uh, they go to a specific customer. Um, these seals are Teflon coated. Uh, they, as you can see, we call this room the chain on edge room, where you have literally a chain on an edge. They, go in, they get loaded, go in front of a gun system, into an oven, out the door, packed. Done. The one lady puts on the fresh brand new ones, and by the time they come back, the other lady is take them off, pack them into boxes. Yep. Jess is the loader, Maria is the unloader, Armando is the sprayer. And what's the time frame then from start to finish there? It's about 16 minutes from the time she loads it to the time that shows up right here. Cool deal. That is so cool. All right, so let's go from the chain on edge room, Jimmy, when you get done. We're going to go from chain on edge over to the big room. And what do you call the big room again? The super line and the north line. Super line and the north line. We're headed there next. Well, Jimmy, we made our way over here to the super line. We've seen some of the smaller things going on. Artie, you got to tell me what the heck's going on. Obviously, big mufflers right here. Yeah, this is a nice muffler, uh, Ford Company. Uh, it goes on the Ford Explorer. These mufflers come in by the thousands. We do them every day, both first and second shift on this line. We call it the Super Line. The Super Line accepts a lot of different parts. We can hang apart almost 200 pounds in the air. And it, it, it's only touched twice. It gets hung, goes through a washing process, a drying process, a primer process, a top coat process, and then the cure, and then it's put right back in the container it came in. So to come walking over this way real quick, this young man here is the first guy that touches it. And tell me what he's doing first. He's masking that thing somehow. Yep, he's getting ready to, he's gonna unload one and then he's gonna, he's gonna hang it right where Lauren just took that one off of. And then he's gonna put a masking system over the chrome tet and then on its way uh, to the washer, it goes. So the masking system that Lauren takes off, this young man puts right back on to the next one and it just continues on its way. And once again, now this is much bigger so it obviously must take more time to make it all the way through. Um, actually, it's about a 41 minute from the time that part right there comes back. Really, 41 minutes. Yep. And tell me the tell me the uh, the idea behind the whole thing. I assume it's corrosiveness, corrosion resistance, as well as hiding it underneath the balance of an automobile. As you're driving down the road now, like I was telling you guys when you leave, yep. look at any automobile. You're going to see that most automobiles today have a painted muffler or yep. some sort of an exhaust system. Very few things that really look much more uglier than just a bright silver muffler hanging down below the bumper. Right. I mean, if you, you look at some of the trailblazers, the Buick Rainiers, and that big silver can, it just it looks wrong yeah. hanging in space. Absolutely. Well, again, we continue to be kind of fascinated here. And as you can see, and as Jimmy continues to kind of pan across there, you can see the guys that are involved back there with the preparation and the priming. I assume that area there is the heating and the cleaning part right through there, I assume? Yeah, that's a huge tunnel washer. That's what it is. Yep, yeah, it, uh, it washes off anything that's on that, including weld scale. That does the preparation like a body man would be sanding it with a DA, so to speak. It gets itself a seal coat, a prime coat of some sort, and then it goes right into the spray cycle. Tell me what it is that you're actually putting on the product. It's a silicone matrix uh, of a high temperature paint. It'll resist about 750 degrees Fahrenheit. That is too cool. Well, they are hubbing too, aren't they? That is neat to see. That is, as a painter, it's really neat to see. One thing we didn't show you earlier, which I thought was pretty cool, we actually had the dental pieces that you put in your mouth. We didn't show them to you, but that's another one of the things they do. But to go in from the piece that you put in your mouth to make a mold to get a crown made or whatever, to these big units right here, which are very, very important as a safety feature today out in the ocean. 
Absolutely. Uh, Viking uh, Fire Protection out of Hasty, Michigan, is a world-renowned leader in uh, valves and all types of sprinkling components. And these valves here are uh, made of a ductile iron, and we encapsulate them with a thermoplastic Teflon called Halar. They, uh, these things go into subsea operations out on like oil rigs and different things like that. Someplace where the fire system or whatever's going to go through these valves is corrosive. It'll, it'll attack the casting. So we encapsulate it with this thermoplastic and it won't touch it for years and years and years. So this item right now, as we see it, goes right into the saltwater ocean and it'll last forever. Uh, darn, a good long while. A real long time. Wow, that is really cool, particularly with some of the things we've seen in the past 30 or 40 years with some of the fires that have happened out in the ocean. That is bizarre. All right, so we go from the production line that is the, uh, the exhaust that we saw a moment ago, getting the black treatment there and the chrome tip. We make our way back into the larger area here and tell me what we're looking at. What we're looking at is exhaust stacks that go to like Volvo tractors, Caterpillar, um, uh, and behind it, you've got a bunch of stuff over the road truck with like Navistar, Freightliner. Um, these products also go on the super line. They get a high temperature silicone matrix, uh, primer, top coat, heat cured, of course. And uh, they'll see, if, you, if you're a Gold Rush fan like I am, you watch that show every Friday night, you see those beautiful tractors and, and et cetera out there, you see the exhaust stacks on the back of them. Pretty cool when you can watch the, watch the television set and see your own product on there. Isn't it? I love it. Oh, yeah, I, would do, I really would do. That's really cool. Jimmy, I got to tell you, now the ladies are over here. Tell me, uh, obviously in a pack and shipping mode going on. Yeah, back here is where final inspection, uh, packaging, a lot of our product, like the product that they're working on right here, is actually in our appliance division. These are high-end appliances that will end up in your home, uh, the Viking Corporation. These are bases uh, that they're packing up and bubble wrapping. Everything has to be protected as they get put onto a truck as they somewhat bounce down the road. A lot of work goes into it, so these girls make sure that, number one, they come from production, and they're perfect, and then they get packaged correctly and shipped. And again, a few more waffle irons. <laughs> at, every, at any given day, you got to give me an idea how many of those plates might be in this building. Oh, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. Uh, I, thousands. That Just thousands. Question. It changes so fast every day. That is amazing. I tell you, that is so cool. And again, something, hey, listen, I got to tell you, I was up here lots and lots of years ago, and uh, this place has changed tremendously since then. Let me ask you real quick, is that another part of an exhaust uh, system there? Yep, those go for, uh, that's a, a motor of a generator, a part of an exhaust system for a generator. Very cool. Wow. Jimmy, let's make our way this way and uh, see what else we got up in the racks once again. Big stuff, big trucks. Uh, huge, over-the-road trucks, just like what we drive to the racetrack. You've got Freightliner, Navistar, Volvo, Mac, uh, just you name a few. Now, do you do you uh, put yourself in a position to store in these things, or are we close to the shipping area back in here? Well, this is the shipping and receiving area back here, as, long as, as well as our full-service maintenance. But what we've done with our customers over the years has gotten creative, value-added. Why spend the freight? Uh, freight cost to ship it from us back to the customer and then they take a couple of them and ship them out to to their customers right. we actually do edi pools we are them we become our customer and ship to their customer direct oh really so you guys do direct drop ships when, when they need to from time to time yeah again value added why send it back to them if they don't have to do anything but look at it and pay the freight it doesn't make any sense you have the opportunity you have the space so you got a uh JIT type program just in time and they get an order boom you package ship it. Yep, one piece goes to Texas today, one piece goes to Canada. It doesn't matter. We'll do it. Well, you don't have to have 10,000 waffle plates. You don't have to be the Ford Motor Company with mufflers. You don't have to be freight liners with the exhaust system. Power shield coatings will take you one at a time with a pair of headers right here like we're seeing one, two, three, four, five sets and onesies and twosies doesn't make you guys a bit of difference. No, it's no different than if you've got pots and pans at home and the coatings come off because it was done overseas. Take the handles off of them or anything that's going to melt in the oven and I can make them brand new. That is bizarre. i got to tell you something else we saw a moment ago. Of course, we're in snow country up here, being right next to the, to the lake. What in the world? I mean, obviously it looks like a snowmobile frame, but this is a vintage piece right here. Tell me about this thing. Yeah, a good friend of ours, uh, Mike Staley, he's renovating a, or restoring a 74 John Deere. Uh, and here it is. 
and uh, it looks like it's it was just made. He took it apart piece by piece, took everything off of it. So you guys, he probably did maybe just a little hammer and dollar here and there, and then you blast it, and it has gone through. This truly is one of the pieces that's gone through the powder coating process. Yeah, and, and where we come from, from a specialty powder coating company or division, if you will, with Power Shield, is we do all the things so you don't have to at home. We mask off all the threads externally, the threads on the inside, to where other powder coating, coating companies, in my opinion, are just kind of down and dirty. Yeah. We set ourselves a part of it. We don't apologize for what we charge because I think it's very fair for the quality from my folks. But yet, we do the work for you, so when you get it home, you literally can just put it back together. Start putting it back together, absolutely. Instead of having to take a die or a tap or whatever the case might be to go through that, bring it up here that's already done and uh, ready to go. And, oh, by the way, sometimes you even look around and see a guy all dressed in black like that who's taking care of the snow out there. I just want to introduce my good friend Brian Pfeiffer, and uh, he's the do-all guy. And he's not only the do-all guy, he's uh, one of the main guys that makes that car go fast. Yeah, he's a huge help. He's uh, been tuning cars for a lot of years, putting them together, tearing them apart, blowing them up. We just happen to do it together because we love it. Very cool. We certainly look forward to seeing him a good bit this summer as well. So, guys, in closing, let me just explain a couple of things. I'm going to actually let you explain a couple of things right here to tail end because on this table set a number of variables that set this company apart from almost anyone else in the country. Right. Again, power shield coatings, doing specific powder coating, what have you. This is a custom rat rod piece to an exhaust manifold header to mixers that go into chemicals that we wrap with thermoplastics. But would you believe that there's 10,000 piston rings on every one of these sticks? And what we do with them at Tefco Engineered Coating Systems is actually coat the ID of every one of those rings that's on that stick to a specific tolerance, 100% repeatable. Really? Unbelievable. I, I, let me just say a couple of things, man. It's been a really, really, really cool tour today and really unusual compared to what we're used to doing. And uh, several things I'd love to tell you. That, first of all, Thank you for being a part of PDI. Thank you for being my friend uh, again. You know, We've been friends a long time. Yeah, I love you, Brian. My family loves you guys. We're just so excited to join the PDRA. Put my brother back in his seat, best driver in the country. I've got the best team in the country. And, hey, if you want to join us, come on out to the Power Seal Coatings uh, racing trailer in the Pro Open Outlaw class. And, again, we're going to be tailgating with a race car. Keep in mind, if you are from this general area, we will be hitting uh, Martin, Michigan, US 131 on uh, June 27th, 28th, I believe. Yep. You're putting me on the spot here. Our, first, June, yeah. our first race is going to be in Rockingham in April, April 9th through the 12th. Then we go to uh, Martin, Michigan in June and July. Then we're going to, towards the end of July, we'll end up in Maryland. And then uh, in September, we'll be at Galat Motorsports Park, which we're really excited oh, yeah. about that. And then we're going to finish it up in the World Finals in Virginia. It's going to be a great time. And I want to tell you what, on behalf of PDRA, to you, your family, your great mom and dad, Mark, all your crew, Brian, and I know there's a bunch more of them. Thank you so much. Well, and thank you for the time you took to be with us today as well. Well, from my family and Tefco Engineered Coating Systems, Home of Powershell Coatings, we thank you. Appreciate it. Tell you what, it's been another wild day. Probably snow, 10 inches thick outside, but it don't bother me or Jimmy. But at the end of the day, it's all about PDRA TV and coming in with these wonderful folks, visiting these beautiful shops, and all these great marketing partners that we have, like we have right here at Tefco. You're watching PDRA TV.